Hello everybody, welcome back to Pool Puri, the lifeguard's niche fragrance review show. And on today's episode, we have a New York City special. That's right, I went from little old Liverpool all the way down to the Big Apple to try some perfume for you guys. Um, we hit three stores um, in the kind of Bowery area of New York City of Manhattan. Um, we went to first Scent Bar NYC, which is a niche perfume kind of purveyor. They have, they have a huge selection of every kind of niche you'd ever want. Um, and then right across the street from that is Le Labo, of course, uh, known for their Santal fragrance. And then right around the corner from that is Diptyque. So let me regale you with everything I smelled here on this trip. Um, so first off, we hit Scent Bar NYC, which is a fantastic store. Shout out to the people at Scent Bar, they're very helpful. Um, and with such a huge selection, you can really pick and choose as many things you want to smell as you can, especially if it's not busy. Um, so first up, we had an Orto Parisi that I haven't actually smelled yet. So I've smelled most of the Orto Parisis, but this is one that I hadn't smelled yet and one I was very interested in smelling because it has a reputation is Coyum. Now Coyum is a mineralic, leathery, oody, um, kind of dark fragrance that's known for being very intense. Now when I smelled it in store, I didn't think it was super intense, um, at least not as much as people say. It is a very masculine, old-fashioned kind of fragrance but um, I do see a lot of appeal in it and I don't think it's maybe as offensive as some people say for a leather fragrance but um, if you want something a little bit more a little bit more punchy on the leather side then that is a good option for you. Um, next is one that I didn't pick out but one the uh, the attendant uh, the employee picked out for me which was Thamine Carved Oud. Now this was a very light uh, pleasant oud um, it, it didn't have a lot going on for me personally. I didn't think it was super, super unique. Uh, in oud fragrances, I'm kind of looking for something funky or bright to bring it all together. But this was a nice, smooth, light oud, and I thought it was an excellent fragrance. Um, next up, we had two Nazomato fragrances. You know I'm a huge Nazomato fan, and these are two that I hadn't smelled yet. One being Absinthe, and the second being Pardon. Now, Pardon's very popular. I believe it's the second most popular Nazomato after Black Afghano. Absinthe was a clean, light green, slightly sweet um, fragrance, but out of the Nazamato line, I don't think it's super, super unique, which is what I kind of look for in all the Central Gautieri fragrances. Um, I think it's better than Narcotic V, but it still doesn't have a whole lot going on. Um, so I wouldn't recommend out of the Nazamato line if you're looking for a unique, it is a nice fragrance though. Um, and then Pardon, um, I think deserves some of its hype. Pardon is a lightly spicy, woody, masculine fragrance. Um, there's a lot to like there, but um, it's it's kind of understated, and um, I wouldn't say it's like. I think I think it's a daily wearer. I don't know if it's a special occasion fragrance. It's very kind of mellow and masculine, and it's it's a nice fragrance if you want to go with something that you can just throw on. Um, it's not a crazy statement piece like a lot of Alessandro Gautieri's fragrances. It's just a nice, nice chocolatey kind of woody spice fragrance. Now moving into the last fragrance I smelled at Sembar NYC was Tiger by Zoologist. Now this is the third Zoologist I've smelled um, and I enjoyed it. It's a vetiver with a bit of spice. It's uh, warm and nice and has an intrigue to it. Um, for me, this ranks right in the middle of the Zoologist I've smelled. So uh, last I'd put Snowy Owl then Tiger and then Moth is still my favorite of the zoologists I've smelled. Still yet to try T-Rex. They actually had a bottle of T-Rex, but it was completely empty, uh, their tester, because that fragrance is going wild, popular right now. It's, it's a huge trend to smell T-Rex. Um, but yeah, that was um, everything I smelled at Scent Bar. Then I trotted right across the street to Le Labo. Now Le Labo was a very cramped, but nicely decorated store. They have candles and everything else from that line, but Le Labo, had some fragrances that I was interested in smelling. The first one was Neroli 36. Now Neroli 36, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't, I don't know. I think in general the Labos lack the uniqueness I'm looking for in niche, um, but the, Neroli was a very, very light floral um, fragrance. It really smelled pretty standard to me. I don't know. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's something I would spend a lot of money on. It's a, it's a decent fragrance, but I, I was not impressed totally by Neroli 36. Um, but then I smelled Ambret 9, and Ambret 9 was a fragrance that I did enjoy. Um, it was a light, slightly musky, um, sweet fragrance. 
And on top of on top of this, it had a little bit of a citrusy note to it. Um, it is a pleasant fragrance. It's a it's a nice fragrance. Again, it's a little bit. It doesn't stand out a whole lot, but I do think it's a it's an enjoyable fragrance. Um, and that is where my time at La Labo ended. And then I went right around the corner to Diptyque. Now Diptyque is a very popular niche perfumer. Almost, I think of Diptyque almost as like, kind of like Etat Libre d'Orange, um, where they have a ton, a huge range of fragrances, but um, they're all very, very pleasant and nice and nothing really super, super in your face. Um, similar to Etat Libre d'Orange. Um, and there I smelled a fragrance that I've been meaning to smell for quite some time, which was Le Papier. Now, Le Papier is a musky, very light fragrance that is inspired by paper. Um, and it does have that very light, very clean quality to it. It does smell, it's a very close skin scent, but it is beautiful. And it is, um, I think, something that is very enjoyable, but it's not something that I would wear out or anything like that. It's a, it's a personal, very close very like intimate fragrance um, that I think is a good shout if you're looking for a daily wear um, that you just want to kind of feel comfortable in and is subtle and very sweet and nice. Um, and out of all of these stores, I actually only picked up one fragrance um, from Scent Bar NYC. I picked up a little half size bottle of Ingenious Ginger because I mean, that's just an excellent fragrance. Check out the episode we did on it. Um, and yeah, that concludes my time in New York City, smelling all the perfumes that were on offer there. Um, shout out to Scent Bar, Le Labo, and Diptyque. Uh, definitely check those out if you're in the area. And I will see you on the next episode of Pool Paris.